I have dogs, I guess, because it's kind of a birth defect. I was born in a home where there was a dog. And I always had a dog growing up. And I have 11 dogs now. And my wife couldn't live without dogs. And I couldn't live without dogs. And my kids couldn't live without dogs. Um, to me, it's like saying, why do you have a nose in the front of your face or ears on the side of your head? You gotta have them. Okay, Sid? Oh, boy, let's get him. Hey, give me my cord back. When he was about six months old, I took Sydney to a school playground, and Sydney saw the skateboard, and he ran up behind one of the kids and jumped on, and the little boy fell off, and he took off until he hit a fence. The more he does it, the, the more improved he gets, but I think the initial thing is that he is fascinated with the wheels, and he started out by trying to stick his head under the board to eat the wheels. The skateboard started going, and then he got too fast to uh, eat the wheels. Can I have my board now? I said. These are foxhounds, and fox is their favorite quarry. These guys live in a pack. They have to go by the rule of the pack. DJ! Who's the leader of the pack? I'm the leader. I'm the alpha male here. We chase fox entirely for the sport of it. We have absolutely no desire to kill a fox because we're losing our pal that we're out there chasing. <laughs> One way or another, the fox wins the battle. Hey, Balsam. Hi, Balsam. The hounds Daggy. did their best, and I can praise Daggy. them for all the good work that they've done. Delia. They show Culper. their affection for me. They do love me. Hey, guys, give me a break. Give me a break. You're too much. Huh? We do our doggone best to show our affection. And humans do a good job of returning it. But there have been exceptions. <laughs> <laughs> 